Hello everyone, Wind you're here, and welcome back to the New Mass campaign for Mortal Empires. Now in the last episode, we finally started the war with Kenwi, and we managed to get some early victories in, with us securing both the Stone Mine Tower up in the north near Bamadvar, and most importantly the Black Pyramid of Nagash down here in Hegala. Now unfortunately, Zan not Zandri, Kenwi, is not taking it lying down, and so sent off two armies to lay siege to the Pyramid. Now, we've got two options as to how we deal with this threat. We can either, one, use the forces we've already got nearby, as we've got Agatep and his diminished army recruiting in the pyramid itself, as you can see here. And then we've got the two armies outside. We've got Arkan, maybe about three quarters of a full stack, but pretty much a full strength. And then Setep is at full strength. So we could use them, because what do the enemy have? If I click here, Menka only 15, only 3 quarters, but he's got some good troops. I mean, Archer Chiris is just a pain to try and catch up to in order to fight in melee. Yushapti, Tomb Scorpions, ugh, bugger. So you got them, what about you in the back? King Hankor, you've got, f hang on, 3 Tomb Princes. Oh Christ, really? So we've got 3 of them to deal with. Some more chariots, sepulchral stalkers, a war sphinx, bone giant, a screaming skull. Right. Well, we can either use the forces we got here then, regardless. Or, since they're not willing, it seems to come and attack us straight away. What we could do is wait a turn or two until Futep, who's got a full recruited army ready to go, makes his way down. Now, how long is it going to take for him to arrive? Two turns after this one? I mean, we could do it, but to be honest, I feel that the forces we have here are suitable for the job. So I'll tell you what, actually, let me what think about something. Agatep, he's got a bit of a diminished force, right? Don't get me wrong, but he does have war sphinxes, and that's ready to use. If I pop onto the Black Pyramid itself, what's my garrison look like? We do have a Tomb Prince, we've got a few units of Tomb Guard. But unfortunately, they only got like, yeah, 10 out of 100. Archers aren't the best, okay. They do have a Tomb Scorpion that we can use, and a Screaming Skull Catapult. What would happen? Like, hang on, let me try this. Let me bring Arkan, so he's within range here, right. Setup, I think, should be within reinforcement range already. He is, okay. Just move you up slightly further. What happens if I use Agatep to do a lightning strike against the army laying siege to his settlement? So if I do this... Okay, it makes it so less of a chance, but hear me out. We've got the ability to bring our troops back and heal them thanks to his um, resurrected upgraded ability. So we could use that, have him take out their commanders, and we'll have two War Sphinxes to go up against their Yushapti and their Tomb Scorpions. We've got a few troops, and we do have the garrison as well that's going to be... Oh no, we don't have the garrison coming in, even though he's inside the... Oh, fine. In that case, do I want him leading the charge? No, what I will do then, let's switch you out. Let's use Setup's forces and have you go after them, because he'll have a full stack to start things off. Yeah, that should work much better. So let's fight the battle, and I'll see you guys on the battle map in just a moment. Okay guys, here we are on the battlefield, and already I've, I find it extremely weird how the reinforcements have been set up for this fight. Because look at this. We've got Setep and Mekar's army in front of us. Now, if you remember how it was on the campaign map, the Hakor's army, which is now deploying to my left, should have been actually deploying up here behind Makor's force. Whoever this one is probably should be down on one of the two sides here. And this is a really <laughs> buggered up situation. Oh, what am I going to do about this? Right. 
we've got Hankor, that's the guy with the larger force, and he was the one that had the War Sphinx, the Bone Giant, the Screaming Skull Catapult and all that. He's going to be coming in on my left flank. So what I'm thinking is actually set my army up to fight him. Whatever army is coming in then to reinforce from this position can come over and then ready to deal with these guys making their way over. And then whichever army is coming in from behind them will be able to try and come in and hopefully help the reinforcement army from this side deal with them. Uh, this is going to be a weird, weird fight, I tell ya. But let's set up my forces nevertheless. Right, Spearmen of course are going to go on the flanks, so let's put you two here, we'll put swap you around. Let's get something like that, so we have a nice little mix of them. Grab you guys, let's put you straight across something like this. We may move up, excuse me, thank you. We may end up move, swapping around a little bit, or maybe moving them slightly more to the right, so we can cover as many of them as possible. We'll just have to wait and see about that. Archers, you can form up right here. We might as well just go big with the initial attack, so Necropolis Knights can come here as well. Matuya Chapter Units can come here. Hero Titan, you can form up there. Screaming Skulls, I'm going to stick them here. With the plan being that we'll be able to fire straight into their position. Especially since they've got their own Screaming Skull catapults and they've got like the Bone Giant in that. So I want to make sure we can knock him out early. Carrion... To be honest, I don't really know what I can do with you guys. I suppose we could try and get you on the flank here, ready to go. Okay. Guys, come on. There we go. We do something like that. With Kagatev, you can stick here, ready to debuff enemy units. Setup can be on the front line. And we'll just try this the best we can, I guess. What are we going to get for magic? Okay, we managed to pick up a fair bit. Excellent. We've got 97 power reserve. Okay, let's start the battle. Pause this a minute. And let's just grab everyone but my Screaming Skulls. It's going to move you slightly into position here. And then Screaming Skulls are going to turn around. Make sure you're ready to fire on the enemy's move oh, units as soon as they march in. Okay, here come their heroes already. Right, let's see if we can eliminate these off as fast as we can. So you go in here and deal with them. The Matunas of Shapti, come in and help. Okay, more chariots making their way in already. Archers already started, okay. Let's bring you in to deal with these. Apparently it's a high threat facing chariots with spearmen. Interesting. Okay, you guys come in here, you guys come in here. You guys charge in here, you guys come in here. Don't worry, I have spotted the, the Sphinx, don't worry. Okay, Kagatev, let's cast a spell to blow them up early, please. You, get ready and start blasting them. Carrion, let's get the two of you, actually. Come over here and start going after that Screaming Skull catapult. Okay, you guys, make your way over towards... Hang on. Oh, these are the Agatev and his men, okay. Let's bring you guys towards here, then, I guess. I'm going to have to stop this. There's going to be way too many men for me to try and manage effectively without trying to set something up properly. So that's what we got. Now, Hekan Warriors. Okay, you, 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 and you. Form up a nice line. Excuse me. You. Everyone but the two characters in the back. Set up a line, please. Thank you. Okay, Tomb Prince. We're going to stick you by here. Alright, Arkan, we may end up using your Tomb Blade to try and get a Skeleton Warrior unit, just to hold them in position as we try and get our troops into position. So let's stick you there. Okay. Oh, I hate doing this. Alright, let's have you spin around to attack them. You spin around and attack them. Okay, let's go back to slow motion, guys. Okay, Archers, focus fire on them. You. Okay, good. That was their unit, not mine. Fantastic. Okay, you guys, you focus attention now on going after them. Hero Titan, blast to him. Use your burning gaze to take that out. And then get ready with this to take out one of their Tomb Princes. 
And just to help things out a bit, use this ability as well. So we can get some archers down. Okay, both of you are dealing with them. Okay, what have we got here? Excuse me? Chariot? No, no, that's not my chariot. Who's the chariot? Is... Why can I click on it? That's my spearman. Right. Okay, that makes sense. Okay, screaming skulls. Yeah, continue doing what you were trying to do here. Take out that unit. Excellent. Okay, rest of these get into formation-ish. Let's have you guys, de in fact, deploy up here. You use the fate of... No, use this on him. Uh, to reduce that Tomb Scorpion before they get a chance to fight effectively. You come over here. Agatep, you have the ability to heal yourself up. Do that, and then see about going after the Arch Chariot yourself. These other guys need to start making their way over to join with the fight. So head over here, please. Okay, how are we doing over here now? Bone Gi you guys are still doing a job. Continue fighting and shooting that unit for me. In fact, go after their Bone Giant. Probably be a better use of my time. Okay, those guys are getting wounded. Screaming Skull Catapults have been taken out. Okay, how are their chariots doing? Six out of uh, what their initial size. Okay, what we got here? War Sphinx is... Okay, where's my Hero Titan? Hero Titan, go after that War Sphinx. And see about helping out by using that against them. Okay, Sepulchral Stalkers are already doing damage here. I'll tell you what, actually. Focus on fighting that unit there. Okay, Spearmen, come forward and attack these. Spearmen, come and fight these. Okay, my Yashapti units. Turn around and go after these Stalkers for me. Unless... hang on. Who are you? Hankor. No, actually. You go after that, him. You go after him. Okay, archers are now starting to do a bit of damage. Tomb Scorpions already pushed their way through, though. That's an irritation. Okay, let's have a look. Can you take him out? You might be able to. Okay. Let's do that. Let's have you as well. Can we... No. Okay, three, two, one. Okay. Slow down again. Use spell on them. Okay, you Shapti, we need you now to turn around and go after some of their units here, please. Okay, you guys, come over here and fight the chariot hosts. Carrion, we need you to go after the t those there, please. Okay, we've killed off the bone giants with our screaming skulls. Excellent work. Focus now on taking them out. Okay, how are we going to deal with you? Okay, actually, debuff everything that's going on here that's related to an enemy. And then if we go armor piercing for him. No, that was not what I actually asked. Okay, try that again. There we go. Okay, let's get you guys now to come in and help to charge into the way of the skeleton archers here. And then you guys come over here and attack them. Okay, they're starting to weaken, they're starting to weaken. Can I get... Okay. Ark in the Black, we've killed one Tomb Scorpion. Nehekan Warriors are going down. That's not ideal. Let's help things out a bit by doing that. You guys come over here now, ready to take them out. Okay, Hakuas, have a go and have some fun against the Shapti here. That's going to be a bigger threat for us. You guys spin around and attack that Tomb King. You... Let's not worry about the chat, these guys. Let's just focus on killing these off. Okay, let's bring... Let's allow that to happen. Um, anything we can try and use here. Don't know how to use that. And then, just to help things out a bit, let's drop off some Yushapti right there. Okay, I'm on Yushapti, in fact. How are you guys doing? You're about to kill him off, okay. Archers continue doing their thing. You, okay, you, stop firing. Go after Sepulchral Stalkers instead, no. No, 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 I tell you what. Come over here and go after these. Okay, Firm Toss, uh, Agatep, you need to use your ability once more. Do you realize you're actually fighting Yushabdi? Do that. 
Okay, we need skeleton spearmen to charge into there. Tomb guard with halberds go and charge into them. Skeleton warriors into here. Do that as well. In fact, all of you guys, go and help your king. Right, let's unload this again. Okay. At the moment, we're nearly done with the situation on this side. It's been a tough fight, but we've been able to hold out. The Coppice Knights, you're about to die. Okay, maybe not do that. Maybe run away. Okay, my own Yushapti. Let's take a unit over to go hunting after that Cambrian War Sphinx. You two... Okay, you're finishing off those Stalkers. Fantastic. Still got a Tomb Prince lying around. Still got one here as well. Okay, let's have you guys come over here and take them out. Let's have... Can we do as a bonus? Let's increase your physical resistance for that unit. Okay, Arcane Conduit is going to help out a great deal too. Okay, how are we doing over on this flank? Okay, Ark in the Black, let's increase your fighting ability. How many of these are left? Tomb King is going down. Okay, Nehekon Warriors and that. Let's have you guys come over here and fight the Yushapti. How is my own Yushapti doing against those... Uh, losing slightly against my troops. Okay, where do they summon this in? Crap. Okay, okay. You guys need to finish them off. You come over here and finish... No, you come over here. And be prepared to help out against the Shapti units that's just been summoned in. Okay, all of you guys start charging into position here. You two come over here and help out against them. Although you can come over here and deal with them. You come over here and help against the prince. Kagatef, let's get you out of there before you die. And can we... Okay, too far, too far. Nope, just about in room. There we go. Let's knock down that armor of theirs by quite a bit. Let's have you guys go and kill them. Okay, we go and kill them. Unit's been wiped out. Oh, well... Oh, crap. Kagatef died. Oh, you cheeky, cheeky bastard. <laughs> right. You focus attention now on killing them off. You go and chase them down. Okay, that's going okay there. What's the situation over here? Okay, we basically killed off the last of the characters. Hakuras, use your Desert Strike ability. See if you can kill off that last unit of your Shapti. You guys now need to start moving down to go after the chariots. Hakuras, you're doing fine. You can keep... You do what you do. Okay, you can't use the fate of Bujna at the moment. Alright, let's help my troops out there a bit. And let's start using some more legionary strikes. Okay, not much we can actually try and do in terms of direct damage. Okay, let's just set, head back to this minute. Okay, we need you guys coming over here to damage them. You two, okay, you're dead. Come over here now and start dealing with these. You guys come over here now and finish them. You finish off these two. Okay, you guys come forward now and attack that unit. Okay, how are we doing over here? That's dead. Okay, we need you to focus now on that unit. In fact, archers, fire on that unit there. You guys come and fa face these. Okay, Ark in the Black. Let's use that on him. Okay, my Yushapti unit's about to perish. It's okay though, they did the num damage that I needed them to do. Right, so you guys can do that. You guys swing around then and attack these. Enemy Lord has been wounded, okay. Archers, finish off them. Okay. We've, we've now secured the situation over on this flank. We just need to bring our tr all our troops now over to this side to finish them off. So you need to come down here and attack these guys. All of you start making your way over towards these. Another unit's been wiped out. Okay. Screaming Skull Catapults. Uh, have some shots against these. You guys focus fire. Both of you together. Focus fire on that unit. 
Okay, Agatep, go and attack these. Heal up yourself and have some fun with Desert Strike. Kill those off. Okay, that's been cleared up. We just need... You guys come over here. You guys come over here now. Carrion, lock down this unit here. Alright, and then let you guys continue firing at them. Agatep, you can chase these down as well. Okay, come on guys. Hang on in there. Alright. Everyone now, focus your attention on this unit. That's all we need to do now. Come on. Everyone is <laughs> charging in now. This chariot unit is not hit long for the living. In fact... Oh, there it goes. Bang. A close victory. You can say that again. Woof. Okay, my casualties weren't that bad. Although, the fact that when you think about it, both these... You combine these two armies together, they wouldn't even match... They would have matched Arkans force, essentially. They're along Setep, yet they did a decent amount of damage simply because of the units involved. Like, these chariots are such a pain to deal with. But then, dealing with, like, the Tomb Scorpion and stuff like that... Ugh. Anyway, enough of me talking for the moment. Let's go back onto the campaign map, where we can actually look over the results of losses of all my armies. So see you guys in just a moment. So, guys, a close victory... But we managed to secure it nevertheless. Now let's have a quick look at our losses from this. So, oh we picked up the Crown of Command. Well done, Ksetep. So we actually lost out one of our priests, Kagatev. The Spearman Horde, that only managed to get two kills before it was wiped out. Carrying units and my Necropolis Knights, they did do okay. I just think uh, I might need to get the Halberds in the future. But the Hero Titan, extremely good, 68 kills. That, ugh, sorry, I'm trying to deal with hiccups. Screaming Skull Catapult, it might have only got 58, but it did a good job. It managed to wipe out a couple, one or two units, the last remaining members. And it managed to destroy a Bone Giant. So I'm pretty happy with that result. Arkin didn't get a single kill, but he managed to buff up his forces enough to be able to basically hold off the uh, forces of Mankar. But this is something that does bug me about the way reinforcements work sometimes. Because when you look in that fight, like, yeah, we had our Tomb God come in, but we had a Necro Sphinx. Couldn't, didn't use it, it didn't appear on the battlefield. Tomb Scorpions, we had Screaming Skull Catapults, none of those actually made it onto the battlefield. Instead, we had these guys mainly come in. Which is a pain, we didn't even have this guy come in. Nor this, nor this. <laughs> but nevertheless... We didn't lose any full units, apart from in Setep's force. Oh, and that one unit there. But it means we're in a good position now for us to go after Kemri in the next turn or two. We just have to take an opportunity, I think, to replenish our numbers a bit before we actually get started with that. But, let's click through all this. Okay, Kagatev. Right, in that case, Futep is going to start making his way towards Kemri. Now, it's going to take... Two turns up to get there. Yeah, let's bring you in. He can take his time because I'm going to reinforce him with the armies from here. But it's going to take a little while, obviously, for them to replenish a bit. So Agatep, Agatep will be able to actually go after them in three turns once this is done. Although, can I make it a bit quicker? Like, what is it we have available here in terms of... Tell you what, if we get rid of you... And you. We can get a unit of you. And then we just need a hero. <laughs> yeah, what we can do then is if we go to the Black Pyramid, choose to recruit a hero. How many Leech Priests can we get? Two. Okay, what do we want to get? Wise? Okay, could be work useful. Knowledgeable? I always like this one. Because not only does it reduce enemy winds of magic in the local region, but it gives you an extra power reserve to all my armies. So it's a bonus that applies to everyone. So Hakos I'm going to recruit, but I don't think I'm going to necessarily use him as a um, battle commander. I think he'll be useful as a campaign agent. 
Because what I'm interested in checking out is getting some more counters from the Law of Shadows. Oh, am I ready? Oh yeah, I'm ready on it. Okay. What do we want? Cannon gives me poison attacks and increases ambush chance. Or Master Ceremony to improve and taint it. Let's go for that. Nebuset, welcome to the team. Okay. Everyone else. Setep, I think you can actually take advantage of local recruitment a bit. Oh no, hang on. You've got plenty of movement. How much movement do I need to go into Entombed? 50%. If we move that so he just moves slightly more forward. Just so he can... No, we might as well just keep him where he is actually thinking about it. Go and Entomb yourself beneath the sand. Increase your replenishment a bit. And let's see, what can we recruit locally? Another Tomb Scorpion could be handy. Sepulchral Stalkers, I would like to try and get some more Necropolis Knights. But it's just going to take a while for them to recruit. Um, you already, but you already got plenty of Hushapti. Let's grab some of those. Okay, and then he needs another character as well to join him. Well, given the amount of constructs, can we get a Necrotect to join us? Not yet. Okay, there's something for us to bear in mind. So, Setep... Agatep is ready to go. Arkan, I tell you what, Arkan, let's move you back towards your tower so you can actually go into a different region and start replenishing from there. I think that will work out. Because then, okay, so who else we got left? Omhaf is just, basically, I'm just making it so he recruits a bunch of constructs so we don't have to worry about go losing we lost one, we don't lose the objective that we've completed already. So Armhoff can stay there. Tutakarnets, you're making your way down. Okay. Let's continue making your way then towards Bitterstone Mine. Okay, Futep, Kle Oh, hang on. Kalida. Kalida, you can start making your way towards Bitterstone Mine. Rakash, you can move back up towards Akandorf. And then that's the army's done. It's just a case now of money and spending it. So, first of all, I want to go to Sartosa because I remember seeing Durfu... Oh, Christ, hang on. I remember seeing Durfu. When did this guy turn up? Gogrut. Jesus Christ, the blue vipers have come to kill me, haven't they? <laughs> right. Let's take a moment then to upgrade that, I suppose. And... So what, let's go back to, not Numas, the Black Pyramid. I'm going to actually change something here. Get rid of, keep these two and get rid of that. Because then we can build the Vault of Nagash here. Right. So yes, not as we want to do. Dynasties, let's grab myself a Necrotect. In fact, okay, hang on. 2,500. 2,500. 100 jars. Do we have anything that's cheap? There, apprenticeship of Imhotep. Plus one Necrotect. There we go. Okay, border princes for Akendorf. Let's go. Let's get you some defenses. Let's build that up. Torka can be upgraded. Bagvar, I think, could do. Yeah. Let's upgrade that. Uh, let's not worry about the walls yet. Let's get instead that for a bit more cash. Okay, anything else? Varenka Hills, can we upgrade these? Sure, let's do that. This, let's just go for a more untainted bonus. Just mainly because it's one of the nearby ones to the vampire accounts. Better safe than sorry, eh? Let's do that, do that. Do we want defenses about Var? I think we're okay, actually. Um, a talker could do... Do we actually want to keep this one? Karak Asgaha. It's going to have minus three public order all the time. Oh no, hang on, it will go down to minus one. I think we can manage it. And it does provide a little bit of extra income, so we'll keep that. And we got damaged building, let's prepare that. Assign points. Okay, what's next? Agatep, what am I going to give you? Still can't give you a, a zombie dragon. I really want to give someone a zombie dragon before the end of this playthrough. But at the moment, I'm pretty happy with all your stats for what we've done here. 
Just remind me, what have you got again in your army? Got some of your shab it's mainly infantry. Okay. In that case, I think we saw Runemaker. Let's give you that. And there was one of these that provides this one. Some extra hit points. I think would do you quite nicely. Okay. Did spend that? Yes. Okay, next one. Hakos. Like I said, I kind of want to use this guy as a field agent in the campaign map. So let's go cleanse corruption, damage. Oh yeah, points and specialist, of course. Get one in there. Let's go hidden damage building, wound. Hinder replenishment, cleanse. There we go. Okay, Nebuset. Let's give you a point there, 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 there. There, there, there. There, there, there. And then, which one of these is supposed to give a debuff to the enemy? That does mm, damage. That could be extremely useful. Let's give you the feeble info. And then finally, hit the enter. Where I can take the opportunity now to talk about something that actually came up in the Cabal Let's Play I did on Saturday. Now, as you guys know, next week, in fact, a new DLC is coming out for Warhammer 2, The Hunter and the Beast. And from what I've seen of the trailer, as well as the DLC notes and the patch notes, it's going to be a good DLC. Now, the only problem is, is that as typical now with Creative Assembly, as they release the new DLC, they're going to have a new patch, which is going to include changes to the Empire faction and so on, right? So the problem is with a patch is what happens with your current games. Like we've got this playthrough and we've got the Cabal as well. So what are we going to do about dealing with that? Well, with this playthrough, now that we've conquered and managed to secure the Black Pyramid, all we need left to do is take the Kemri and Sandri. We just need to capture those, build up the landmark buildings, which will take a few turns admittedly. So we have to be on the defensive for that. But we will actually finish the campaign, I would say, before the uh, update comes out. So this campaign will be fine. What I'll probably do then, once this campaign is done, is actually put up to a vote. <coughs> Excuse me. For us to decide what we're going to do next. I would love to try and do a playthrough of one of the new factions. Either Marcus Wolfheart and the em Empire, or Nakai the Wanderer and the Lizardmen. We'll be doing it on the Vortex map if we do it. But the other option would be just to not do Warhammer again and try and play another Total War game for some variety on the channel. Well, I'll leave it up to you guys. But the thing is then, what am I going to do about the Cabal? Well, touch wood, because the changes that's going to be taking place in terms of like the map is going to be on the Mortal Empires one, not on the Vortex. I'm hoping that I'm going to get away with it and we'll be able to continue with the Cabal's playthrough. If I can't, because it's broken the save file, then I may restart it because I am really enjoying that playthrough with the Cabal. But I may have to restart it if once the mods have been updated, especially since I'm relying on Mixu's mod pack in order to play Zengrim. So it's something to think about. But fingers crossed, we should finish this campaign before we have to worry about the patch cocking anything up while we're so close to victory. So, with that said, let's get back to this game. So, we've now done that. You've just got one more turn to go and you're ready to go. Yep, Sartosa is under siege. Not ideal, but not much we can do about it right now. Unless... Arkin, how quickly, if I ask you to force march, will it take for you to get there? Probably quite a few turns, won't it? Yeah. Okay, never mind. Never mind. Okay, in that case, we'll just get you back to normal. Go back to the Black Tower, and we'll start recruiting some more men for you. So what can we have as options? Not much, actually, surprisingly. Um, let's grab you. Hang on, what's better? Because we had a look at this, and Tomb Guard are more def better defensively and got slightly better stats, but the combat is actually a little bit more in their favor for the Nehekan Warriors. Let's grab another unit of you guys to join. 
It'll take two turns, but that's fine. We're gonna not probably not use Arkan in the immediate future. As terms like a main offensive unit. But we'll have two of those, two of those. Let's get you another unit of archers, I think, good sir. Let's go a, a unit here. We can get 94 units of archers if we so want it. Any constructs? No. Okay. Instead, we'll just get a bunch of these. Let's get... Something like that. And it means then that it will be all ready in two turns as well. Okay, Hapkos, you haven't moved. Let's move you up towards Zandri. And hopefully we can have some fun against the enemy's force, because what they're doing at the moment must win. Okay, can we actually have you damage? Don't really want you to use... What we got is going to be too powerful. Shakti. Get rid of their war sphinx. Uh, sphinx building for me. Do that in your following turn. Hang on. Is that army inside or outside the settlement? If it's outside... That could potentially work in our favour. Hmm. Alright. You two are doing that. You're doing that. Okay, what about heading up now to... Hang on, skip through. To Takanat, you're making your way down here. Hang on. Crap. Right. Um, swap around. You, Kalida, can go back to the Stone Mine Tower because if these guys go into the land an attack, that's going to cause a bit of an issue for me. So you can do that. You can come down then to Bitterstone Mine to Tekarnet and actually get involved in capturing some territory down here. Because you should be able to take both Ekrand and Bitterstone Mine quite easily. Now is there any other enemy armies to worry about? Just Aspiff's army here. The fact, the Elector Countess of Nolan. Okay. We'll keep an eye on that. But that's my main concern. Who's leading this? Oh, Grak beat Basher himself. <laughs> so this guy is actually a legendary lord added by the We Are Boys mod. And was actually one of the options I wanted to do offer instead of New Mass. Where we could have actually played as a Savage Orc tribe. Very similar to if we played as Ruzak. But we would have been over in Lustria. It would have been quite interesting, I think. Even with the challenge of not having as much variety in the units. But we'll keep an eye on him. Right, let's move you into Agatep's force. Okay, and then research. Oh yeah, because we can now get a Necrotect, can't we? Um, what am I going to go for next? I'm thinking... Yeah, let's actually go for this one. Giving extra bonuses to Tomb Guard and my Hero Titan units will come in handy. And then if we pop onto Black Pyramid. Okay, do that. We need Necrotect. Sphinx Carver, Serpent Carver. Or just aggressive. Let's go for Dog Hooter again. <laughs> it's your Hooty. I know, I know. You can join up then with Setup. So we have something that's capable of healing up then all these constructs eventually. Uh, you can level up in fact. Let's take advantage now. We store Shapeshifter, Shaper, Stone Shaper even. Wrath of the Gods. Let's increase your mobility as well. Indomitable Will. Let's make you hard to hit, and let's give you a point in Conqueror. There we go, that you'll make a fine addition for the army. Hakros, you've leveled up, what are we going to give you? To be honest, let's give you a chariot, and then you've basically got all your combat ones already, let's go for training. There you go, well done you. Next, Rahobi. This is the one, I believe, who's with Kalida. So, let's give you Winds of Magic for more power reserve. And let's give you Purple Sun. Why not? End the turn. Oh, crap. You know what I forgot to do? I forgot to actually set it up so we can start building the Vault of Nagash. No matter. We'll get that sorted for the next episode. But otherwise, once this turn phase has come to an end, we'll finish the episode. So what's going to happen next time? Well, for the next episode, for the next turn, I should say, both Agatep and Setep should be in position and start marching up towards Kemri. 
We've already got Futep in position, so he can start laying siege to the settlements and start wearing them down. We've got Tutankhamun, then that's going to be able to take out the Bitterstone Mine and eventually Ekrand. And then Kleda is going to be defending our territory. Oh, hello. Okay, this could be an interesting fight. I think I'm going to try and fight this myself, but we're going to start off the next episode with it. So in that case, thank you very much for watching today's one. I hope you all enjoyed, and I hope you join me next time for more Warhammer. But until then everyone, take care, and goodbye for now.